This is the plaintiff, Miles. He says the defendant purchased $4,000 worth of furniture from him, paid him $2,000 up front, and was supposed to pay him the balance 30 days later. Well, now it's been six months. He still hasn't been paid, and the defendant says he doesn't want the furniture any longer. He's now forced to sue this deadbeat for the $2,000 he's still owed, because there's no way he's going to take the used stuff back. This is the defendant, Jeremy Navarre. He says the plaintiff didn't deliver all the furniture he ordered, and the stuff that was delivered was damaged. Also, some of the chairs were dirty. The plaintiff keeps giving him the runaround about repairing the damaged and dirty stuff, and he's tired of dealing with this guy, so he wants his money back. He's accused of stiffing a furniture man. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Yona. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, okay, in. Miles uh, of Corners Liquidators Incorporated. You are suing Jeremy Navare for twenty-one fifty that you say is owed one hundred and fifty of it. Your lost wages having to go to court and sue him, and two thousand that is owed for furniture that he has refused to pay for. Tell me what's going on. Uh, well, ma'am. Um, uh, initially, he came into my furniture store and he wanted to purchase a large amount of furniture but was not able to pay the complete amount. And regularly, we only do 30-day contracts, but he pled his case to me. He was, oh, I, I can't, but please, I really want this furniture. And I did him a very good deal. I gave him everything at an extreme discount, and I, I extended the 30-day contract to 60 days. He signed. He agreed. We delivered all the furniture. How much furniture was this? Do you have the, the... I do. I have the actual receipt. And me. did you just group it all and say, this will be 4000 or did you itemize it? I, I did itemize it, but it, we did work out a group deal because it was... A, so it's the price of each item on that receipt or no? Let me... No, it is not. Of course not. I'm sorry. That's all right. That's what everybody does, but then, you know, well, then you're left with me so... deciding piece by yes. piece. Okay. So, what did he buy? A sofa and love seat, mm -hmm. a bunk bed, mm -hmm. yes. a table and eight chairs, mm -hmm. coffee table, accent chair, and one server. And what was the problem? Uh, the problem was when we purchased that, first of all, it's not eight chairs, it's six. No, it's eight. It's, uh, it's a six-seater. Okay. okay. Who has the dining room set right now? I do. Okay. Go okay. ahead. When we purchased the furniture, it was for $4,000, the group of furniture. And then he asked me to give him money. I said, okay, no problem. I'm going to pay you $2,000 right now. And then $2,000 up on delivery. He agreed. He said, no problem. I'm going to give you 30 days for you to make that Either payment. Either way, what was the problem that you haven't paid the $2,000? Tell me the why. The problem <laughs> is when he, he delivered the furniture the first time. And then the table, the dining room table, was not good. It was like all the cheap... Um, have a lot of scratches on it and everything. I called him and I said, Mr. Miles, can you please come and take the furniture and repair them because they're not the- what, The what dining we, room. The dining room and the chairs. And the chairs. And the server. And he, the server. Yes, he came and he picked them up and took them back to his store. Now, a month later, he called back and said that, well, some of my guys, um, I couldn't Can find. You, you've got to stop with the bobbleheading. It's very annoying. Go I, ahead. Could, I couldn't find the right guy to paint it or to give you the right furniture. Now, what he did, um, he said, when he sent back this furniture after a month, it was the same furniture, the exact one that he sent that we refused to take. Now, when he did. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. He kept it for a month and then sent it back without doing anything? Without doing Did he say that he did something? He said to me. Okay, but you feel that it looked the same. And then it, what? It did you take the same. pictures before yes. he wait, did you take pictures before he took it the first time or no? No. Okay, but you took pictures after he brought it back? Yes. Okay. When Can I see the pictures? Back. Yes. What color is this table, or what is it? What, what's the? It's a gold, it's okay. kind of gold. It, it has a lot of stain on it. Was this a used table? Yes, the table was used, yes. Was all the furniture you sold them used? No, it was not. Did he know he was buying a used table? Yes, no, he did. Not at all. Yes, he did. 
because everything was a compact with brand new stuff. Wait a minute, hold on. How does, uh, uh, why doesn't it say used in front of it? If I can show you right here on my business card, it says it on the name of the furniture store. It's new and pre-owned furniture. All of our furniture is liquidated for major retails. Right, tailors. but d is it? Did he pick it out on a? <laughs> he did. He did pick it out. Um, he, can I? Can I'm I finish sorry. my sentence? Sorry. Was it in your showroom? And he said, "I would like that table." Yes. With all of these scratches and everything on. And I, and I made him aware that I would repair it, which I did, and I have the receipts for the repair, which never came. Well, out this of isn't his. repaired. I'm looking at I it. I know because. That was, that was, he was not, it was not repaired to his liking. So well, I that's sent not, it out. that's not repaired. It's, it, no, it, I, I sent it out a second time. Why should you have to send it out a second time? What was it? I mean, because that's like. It's because the color was very difficult. It's not even the color. It's that it's not repaired and the chair has a rip in it. Did he, the, the he chairs, picked out a chair with a rip? The chairs were not ripped when he got them. He's had this furniture now for over six months. No, that's not true. The, the chair. The whole contract is not for six months. How no, could I have I'm, the what furniture? What I'm saying is you For over six months. That's a lie. Furniture. Did you, how did you. How did you I, two, just on, a please. second. Mm -hmm. Did you pick out a table and chairs that was in a showroom? <clears throat> it was in the showroom, but he says that he's gonna send us the right furniture. <laughs> I don't know what that means, the right furniture. The right when furniture When you picked means... it out, did, were you expecting to get a brand new furniture or Ab this used one but repaired? No, no, absolutely brand new furniture. But the only problem was, when you, when you take them to us, I said, that's not what we ordered. He said, don't worry, I'm gonna have them repaired. I said, why would you have them repaired? He said, don't worry, I'll, I'll bring you the right thing. And he took them back to his store. That's and what then he did. what? Didn't paint it, didn't do anything, and he then brought them back. back. Brought it back to us without, I mean, the, in this condition. That's what Okay, and then what happened? And then when, when we received them, I talked to one of his guys, I said, you know what? That's not the right thing. That's not the furniture. He said to me, all right, you got to call him because we already dropped it. When I called him, he said, no, I already did. If it's not to your liking, either you pay me for it or I come for everything, then I give you back your $2,000. I said, no problem. Within about another month, he called back and said, you know what? I changed my idea. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to um, make sure that you guys pay for it. I'm going to take you to court because you guys don't want to pay for it. I said, well, how can we pay you? for something that's, that's not what we ordered. Come but back. But everything else is what you ordered. It's the table everything and the chairs else. and it's the- It's just the table and the chair and the server. And the server. But everything else is fine and we kept them. We said, no problem. If you come, he said, okay, don't worry. Can I fix it? I said, no problem. If you want to fix it or give us what we need, no problem. I will pay you back your money, but you have to come back for them and give us what we ordered. He said, no, I will take you to court. And here we are today. Did you originally say to him that you would take back the furniture and give him back his money? Miss, that is okay, not Okay, first of all, yeah. um, let me I'm just sorry. explain judge, to you. You would if I was a male judge, you wouldn't say, "Hey, buddy," no, right? I'm, yeah. I'm, okay, so don't. Okay. Try that Your again. Honor, Your Honor. I'm yeah, that's sorry. way better than Miss. So, okay. Initially when we dropped off the table, he had a problem with it. We never we ne it went into Can you just answer exactly what I asked? Because I don't need either of you to repeat stuff. I, I got I, it the first time. He never had the table from the beginning. We took it back immediately. I had it repaired. It was not to his liking. It's not a mat. You keep saying that like he is an unreasonable man. This is garbage. I'm look, looking at listen. it. It's ripped. It's got, you want to see the pictures? I, okay. There's paint we falling never... off of it. I mean, this is like, it's garbage. And you know, when miss. somebody buys, did Who? you call me miss I'm again? Sorry. I'm when sorry, somebody you're... buys a new table and they think it's new, you shouldn't send this. And if they give you a chance to fix it, you shouldn't try to shove this result down anybody's throat. It's not that it wasn't to his liking. It's that it's not to any person with connected brain cells okay. like you're, it. You're so now I have to figure out what the table and chairs and server are worth from this bill. You're, because you didn't itemize stuff. And you didn't announce what was used. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So does it make sense uh, to buy used furniture? Is there danger in buying used furniture? There's some danger, but it still makes sense to buy it. Um, how, how, how old is the furniture before all of a sudden it becomes risky? I think after five years. Five years. Five years is enough time to you know, use it and love it and abuse it, and some weird stuff can happen. Okay, weird stuff. What do you say? Would you buy used furniture from people? Is it too risky? No, yeah, I would do it. Five years. Five years? Is it the five year rule? I'm just curious. Yes, it is. That actually sounds pretty reasonable going inside the courtroom. Your Honor, um, he came back in, and I said I would take all the furniture back and I will give you a complete refund. And he said okay. And no, he came back in and asked me for 45 more days. He would like to keep the furniture. May I have another contract for 45 more days? That's which true. he signed. 
Yes. Which you signed. You Go said. Ahead. Well, you said I would like hold to. Hold on. I, I need you to stop. Go ahead. Yes, I signed the contract because when you called, originally he spoke to my wife, and then <laughs> my wife didn't agree at all. But when he, he said I made more sense to him, and he come in, and, and he called me and he said, you know what? Of course let, he did. Let me talk to you. <laughs> um, he said, let me talk to you. You know what? What I'm gonna do? I know it, it, it was the money. I said, no, it wasn't the money. We have the money, but it was the furniture. My wife said, we wouldn't take it at all. I said, you know what, let me talk to him. And he said to me, come back. I will give you 45 more days while I'm repairing everything, make sure everything is fixed. I'm gonna make it 45 days, then I'm gonna bring it to you. I said, are you sure? He said, yes. I went and I signed a contract with him. It wasn't anything where we couldn't pay the first firm because we- Okay, but here's my question. Mm -hmm. You signed that contract when? Can I see what you're talking about? So here. What day did you it sign that contract? Just hand the paperwork yes, to him, here's please. The, I don't remember the here's question. The here's the date, here's the but it was uh, like a month and a half after the original one. All right, so, um, and you signed to have more time to pay. According to you, your more time to pay was contingent on him fixing it right. Exactly. And according to him- He said he's coming back to According to it. him, mm -hmm. you just wanted more time to pay. Do you have um, anything in writing about him agreeing to repair the table again? No, no, I don't have that in writing. Okay. But he... And did you two, like, email each other or anything like that? I... No? no, we were just talking on the okay. phone. I would just like to say this. Because of the fact that he said that I was going to take back the table, and when he paid me after the 45 days, give it back to him, why do you have the table now and you're satisfied with it? I'm not because satisfied. Because I have the receipts, because when you got it the second uh, did time... Did you take pictures of the table before you sent it to him? He came by my shop and saw Is it. Is that a yes or a no? No, no, I did not. Okay. I'm very sorry. All right, here's what's going to happen. Um, I, um, can I, do you have any evidence of your efforts to contact him regarding picking up? Because I got, I, I think I have a good flavor for what's going on here. You guys deserve each other. So what, what is really happening is I believe that you'd like to float having to pay the guy because you were supposed to pay the guy a very, very long time ago. I do believe that. But I also believe that if you're going to sell a guy used furniture, make sure you specify it because I, I, I don't think it's right to have damaged goods come to his house. Um, and then some use some old and your answer to what's used and what's old that you're selling him is I oh, just look at my business card. I said I sold used and and new furniture. No, that's not an answer um, So yeah, I think he kind of took advantage of like more time and more time, you know to kind of uh, kind of float this however that table and chairs and server is not acceptable and uh, what should have happened is at some point you guys should have negotiated what the value of that was, and you should have paid the rest of it. But since that didn't happen, you have left me to do that exact same job. I am going to order you um, to pay $1,000 of the, you don't get wages for coming to court. Uh, you're $1,000 of the remaining balance, and you are free to pick up the table and chairs and server because they don't belong to him. Great. Okay? That is my verdict. Good Thank luck, you. folks. So the plaintiff is going to get half back of what he was seeking, the $2,000. Mr. Navar, mm -hmm. you, you, you're going to lose the furniture that you have. That's okay, and you've got to give him the 1000 bucks. Well, I'll need them. The only thing is that I didn't have to pay him $1,000 because he never gave me the, the right thing. Well, cost you here in court, 1000 bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Sorry, the pictures helped your case a lot, though. Mm -hmm. Congratulations Thank for you. that. All right, you All must right. sign some documents. Mr. Miles, how do you so, feel about the outcome? You're gonna, feel, get, you're gonna go pick up the furniture? I feel great. Does this happen very often to you? Not very often, he just doesn't want to pay. I'm, I must say, the, the pictures made it look pretty bad. It, that furniture looked trashy. We had already, he took the pictures before we took it back and repaired it. Yeah, but I mean, even when you sent he, it, it he looked trashy. He didn't, he didn't take the pictures after. I have, I have, the, I have the receipts. You don't get my point. My point was you did sell him some pretty trashy looking stuff. Uh, that's your opinion. Okay. <laughs> pictures show it. Harvey? I mean, I, I am telling you, if you are buying a floor sample or anything that's custom, take a picture in the store before you leave because then if you're not getting what you say you bought at least you have a picture and you can prove to a judge this is what i was supposed to get and that will do it for this case litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now